When people say Ghana is the safest country in Africa, sometimes I ask myself, based on what? A country, I said, crime with Sia. People will be standing by and they can't even call the police because they have no trust in the police. Yes, they cannot rely on the police. Armed robbery could be happening. Citizens will be standing there watching. And the first thing that comes to their mind is to say, say, Eri, Eri, or they run away. If Ghana is truly safe, Sebibi Koswa, the first thing anybody will resort to is to call the authority. So tell me why, broad daylight, Ewa Adabraka, Adabraka, Ghana Police Headquarters, it's about five minute drive, or let me say tops, 10 minutes from like where it is like oh, is, is, is that uh, where the headquarters is that osu to adabraka and could you believe these armed robbers took their time took all the time in the world people are watching and none of these people made an effort to call the police you know why because they don't believe in the police they don't rely they can't rely on the police it is so sad that, uh, that an armed robbery could take place for this long. Citizens have the time to even video. And guess what? It never came to any of the citizens' mind to even call the police. Do you know what it indicates? It indicates that the police force has failed the people. Because to be honest, if armed robbery is taking place and your citizens that you have taken an oath to serve cannot call a hotline to report that there's, there's, a, a, there's armed robbery taking place, then what is your purpose? What is your purpose? Day in and day out, people get robbed, people get assaulted. And guess what? No one even calls the police because if you call the police, it's going to take forever for them to report it. They will even tell you to go to the nearest police station around where the incident took place. Meanwhile, they could just call. But yet, they don't. We have a country, huh? Oko, Oko Circle, around Circle, the overhead, that place. Day in and day out, you have truck truck drivers. Ah, almost stop you. It is not right. The police are there, but yet every day they stop there. You know why? Because the police are used to taking money from them. So every day when, when a truck truck driver is coming, up, he knows they are going to ask for money. So he has made his 10 cities, 20 cities ready. The people, not all of them, but majority of the people who are recruited for the police force are just there to enrich themselves. Your main objective is to serve the people and protect the people. But I swear to God, the first thing on a police officer's mind is how much am I going to take home today? How can a nation thrive with this type of mentality from the police officers? All we talk about is infrastructures. If you build high, high, what do you call it? Um, skyscrapers all over Ghana and the people are not safe. What is the essence? If your country is talked about in the news that Ghana is doing so well, the place is clean, but the people are suffering. How does that, what sense does that make?
They should stop saying that Ghana is the safest place. This whole day, broad daylight armed robbery, we used to think that it only happened in Nigeria. But guess what? This is Ghana, Adabraka. Do you know how many police stations are surrounded around Adabraka? And yet, they couldn't box in these armed robbers. Why do you think they have taken their time to even go ahead with the operation? Why are they so confident that the police will not, will, will not come? Do they know something that we don't know? No, no, no. You, like, how can they just so, be so relaxed? And, and the thing is, they are not even looking out to see if there are police officers coming. Do they know something that we don't know? Why are they so confident? We need to stop saying that Ghana is the safest place on, this, uh, 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 on the continent. I don't think so. The people may be nice, but if there's something happening to you as a citizen, that's when you will see that Ghana is not the safest place. If a crime is taking place and the last person I call is the police officer or the police, then that means the police has failed. How come when something is happening, I cannot call the police? What is it? What is wrong? How come I don't have any faith in them? To be honest, we take these things for granted. But if it happened, if it happened to you, you will see how you will see how surreal this whole thing is. People are scared to death in their neighborhoods because of what's going on. Police officers are comfortably standing by the roadside collecting money from people. Is this what is this what we pay taxes for? No. This is ridiculous. Something needs to be done about this. The people need to have faith in the police. And how can that happen? It will, it will only happen if the police officers behave well, show that they are trustworthy. If police officers are only engaged in collecting bribe from traffic offenders, why would I even waste time calling them when there's an issue taking place? I should be able to call a hotline right now in the United States. If I call a hotline right now and tell them where I am, guess what? There will be a police officer within the next five minutes. Ghanaians don't call the police because they know the police will not report, will, will not show up. Your house could be on fire and you will call the fire service people. Guess what? It will take them over an hour to get there. And when they get there, their performance is just poor. What are we doing? These are the things that we need to focus on. We are so intrigued by skyscrapers and all these things. We need to focus on the system. That works, system that the people can utilize. But if there's no system and there's so much mediocrity, how can a nation thrive? This is so bad, man. Ghana, we need to do something about this. There are so many incidents regarding fire where the, 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 the fire service showed up very late. This cannot keep happening. All we know is, let's fix road, let's do this, let's build this, let's build that. Buildings don't serve people. Buildings cannot stop fires. Road cannot stop armed robbers. When people are being attacked, you need a good police service to be able to put a stop to these type of attacks. I am so sad that this could happen in Ghana. Just imagine not long ago, a lady who was driving, I don't know what happened, but she ended up in the river. Her and her kids, dead.
Why is there a river and there's no barricade you think it's actually moving stopping cars from tipping over? No Why? Why is that? Anna, you will see drivers park their cars nice, by the roadside when it's, when it's, when it's uh, you know, malfunctioning. Imagine. And they don't even put a triangle. A car could be there for days and no one will say anything. Instead of the government can, coming up with a place, a large place, a, a, a place where if you leave your car on the streets for more than 12 hours, it should be towed to that place. Go and pay and get your car out. However many days it takes, you have to pay. They came up with a tow levy. The way they came about it is even wrong. You are only after the money. If you truly care about the accidents that's be, like taking place on the streets, on the roads, don't come up with everybody, everybody paying um, tow. If I don't drive, why should I pay tow? Tow levy. You should rather let private organizations handle these things. So if I have a lot, if I have a, you know, a big lot where I can actually tow cars and bring them there, let the citizens go and pay for their car to get the car out. Why do you want to take taxes from the people and say that, oh, when your car is false, we will bring, no, see, you will take the money and then the next minute you will tell us that all the tow cars are not working. All the towing cars are not working. That's what you say. This country, we are only into taking money, but when it comes to providing services, we don't. The number one thing Ghana police is good at is taking bribe from traffic offenders. There's so much money that we could make from traffic offense. So much money. But guess what? The money is not making it to the government. The money is going to, into people's pocket. That's why everybody wants to enter into the police force. Some people who did not even make it through high school are now police officers. What do you think he came to do in there? He paid his way to be hired as a police officer. What do you think his main objective is? Is to make sure he feeds his family. So he's not passionate about taking care of the citizens. This is something that I'm so passionate about because it seems like in Ghana, no one really cares. I believe everyone needs to travel, get experience of how the Western world functions or operates, then you would understand what I'm talking about. In a country where when they, when, when I, we, pay light, we pay light bill, it's prepaid. You have to pay before you even, the lights will even come on, right? When they give lights out and turn it back on, the people will start jubilating. Like, like they are, it's like a, it's a privilege for them to have lights. These citizens are so dumb. You are paying light bill and they take your light, turn it back on and you are happy. You should be upset that they are, they, they, are, they are messing with your livelihood. For how long are we, so, are we going to be so ignorant? No wonder the education system is not working. It's not helping the people. It's keeping the people dumb. We need to do something about these are the things, these are the policies that people, what we need is a system. You can build all the infrastructures. If systems don't work in a country, guess what? The country is not going anywhere. People will continue to suffer. That's my two cents. My name is JB Dimogu, and this is Dimogu View. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, all right? Have a wonderful day. Peace.